Hey guys, this is Matt, and I'm here with another Unity tutorial. This one's going to be about creating health bars that can scale with uh, movable cameras. So let's take a look at what we're going to be making today. Here we have our pirates, and they're attacking these zombies. And as soon as they damage a zombie from 100 health, it's going to display a uh, health bar. It's going to go from green to uh, yellow to red, just like we saw there. As you can see from our pirate here that's damaged, uh, you can uh, the health bar is always going to be scaled to the correct size and all and always above the player uh, no matter what the distance of the camera is and we also have this working for uh, buildings so uh, you know you can put the health bars on on anything you have the health bar it's going to green it'll go to yellow and then go to red so let's uh, take a look at some of the code so this is where i'm displaying the health bars it's in my hud class in the onGUI method. So what I'm doing is I'm getting a list of objects that require health bars and I'm taking each object. And the first thing I do is I get the health ratio, which is just the object's current health over the maximum health of that object. Then if the object isn't at its maximum health, I'm going to display a health bar for it. So next, I want to get the size of the objects in pixels, so how big it is on the screen. And I do that here by getting the sprite render, getting the minimum bounds, and then getting the maximum bounds, and then just subtracting it to get the x and the y component of uh, how big it is. And then I'm going to need to get the distance ratio. And this ratio is going to make it so that even though this is a a GUI element. We want it to look like it is on the world so that uh, it gets smaller whenever you scroll out and gets bigger whenever you zoom in, uh, like all of your other objects are, are doing. So what I did is I found the value. Uh, so, so you have to multiply it by this 8. At least uh, in my game, it'll probably be unique to most people's games. So the way that you find this is you zoom in as as close as you are allowing your camera to get on, a, on an object. You get its pixel size. Then you zoom out as far as you can, and you get that pixel size. And then you just divide them. And whenever I did that, I got this perfect eight. So now you have, so now you know that whenever you're zoomed out, an object is going to be eight times smaller than whenever you're zoomed in. So now that we have that base uh, value, we need to find out how much of it to apply to make it look correct for how far you're zoomed out. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to get the distance ratio of your camera. So I'm going to go into my camera class. This is the script that's on my camera. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to say get its current distance. And I'm using a uh, orthographic camera. So you get its current distance. And then you're going to get the maximum distance you're going to allow your camera to go back. And that's going to be your ratio. Simple as that. Now that you have your distance ratio, I'm just going to initialize this uh, width and height. And so since the distance ratio can be, uh, you, you basically don't want it to be less than 1. All right. So if it is less than 1, and then you're just going to say, OK, the width, I want the width to be equal to however big I want the uh, bar to be. I want the height to be equal to however high I want the bar to be. So I'm saying 5, and then I, uh, I just get the width of the bar from my player. If it isn't 1, then I'm going to still get the height or get the width of the bar from the player and then use the same height of 5 except I'm going to divide it by my distance ratio. So this is going to make it look like uh, it's shrinking whenever you zoom out. Uh, then all you need to do is uh, take your current width and then multiply it by your health ratio. And that's going to give you the portion of uh, the bar that you actually need to uh, have because it's going to shrink as the player loses health. And now you're going to get the uh, wanted position, you know, where you want the health bar to be displayed. So I'm going to do that by using the world to screen point method again. 
and I'm just going to take the object's position and uh, make it a screen point. So now you have the center of the object. And that's not really where you want to uh, display your health bar, but it's pretty close. It's a good starting point. Uh, now we're going to set the color of our object to between green and red. And an easy way to get a nice mixture so that you get a nice yellow color at 50% instead of a really ugly brown is you do the 2 times the 1 minus your health ratio and then just 2 times your health ratio. And that'll give you a nice green to red uh, midway you hit yellow. Looks really nice. Uh, so now you have all of the information you need. You just need to do a GUI.draw and since, you, since you're at the exact middle with your wanted position, you just have to do a bit of simple math, get the, uh, the width that you want. This is going to put it so that it's right in the middle of the uh, X coordinate of the object. And then this is going to put it so that it's above the object instead of uh, uh, inside of it, basically. And then you just give it the width and the height and then the texture that you're using. Uh, now the texture that I use is just this health image and all really all it is is just a white uh, a white image and you do that because uh, you don't want the image to already have a color because you want to tell it its color using the GUI.color. So uh, that was the final product and then just uh, to compare what happens whenever you don't use or whenever you don't use your uh, distance ratio I'm going to go ahead and take it out just set it to 1 compile I'm gonna put a colon semicolon there alright and then we're going to see what the game looks like without the distance ratio so you see the the bar it it always stays the same size no matter how far you are. So even though it looks fine whenever you're zoomed in, as soon as you zoom out it's going to get a lot bigger. So that's the basic components of how to do this. I'm going to set this back and you also possibly saw that I had an attack bar. I used the same, the basic the same stuff except I changed it up a little bit uh, you can make a really nice method out of it. I didn't since you know I'm only doing it twice. I didn't want to put too much effort into it. But you can make a nice method out of it to create any kind of bar you want with uh, just simple instructions. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you guys can implement your own good looking health bars too.